when you start working on a mathematical problem, you may have only a vague sense of how to proceed. You may begin by looking at examples, drawing pictures, playing around notation, rereading the problem to focus on more of its details, and so forth. The closer you get to a solution, however, the more your thinking has to crystallize. And the more you need to understand, the more you need language that expresses mathematical ideas clearly, precisely, and ambiguously. This video will introduce you to some of the special language that is a foundation for much mathematical thought. The language of variables, sets, relations, and functions. In this video, we are going to talk about some important kinds of mathematical statements. Three of the most important kinds of sentences in mathematics are universal statements, conditional statements, and existential statements. A universal statement says that a certain property is true for all elements in a set. For example, all positive numbers are greater than zero. The word all is what we so-called the universal qualifiers, not only for all, also the word for each, given any, for every. Those are our universal qualifiers that we can say that the statement is a kind of a universal statement. While the conditional statement says that if one thing is true, then some other thing also has to be true. For example, if 378 is divisible by 18, then 378 is divisible by 6. The conditional qualifiers in the sentence is the word if and then. Again, if one thing is true, like for example, if 378 is divisible by 18, that is true. And the other thing has to be true. Just like 378 is also divisible by 6. Why? Because 18 is divisible by 6. 378 is divisible by 18, therefore, it is also divisible by 6. Given a property that may or may not be true, an existential statement says that there is at least one thing for which the property is true. For example, there is a prime number that is even. What are these prime numbers? Like 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and so on. And there's only one prime number that is even. That is 2. Therefore, the statement is an existential statement because there is at least one thing that is true. Later, we are going to define each of the statement carefully and discuss all of them in detail. The aim here is for you to realize that combinations of these statements can be expressed in a variety of different ways. One way uses ordinary, everyday language and another expresses the statement using one or more variables. The exercises are designed to help you start becoming comfortable in translating from one way to another. Let us start with Universal Conditional Statements Universal statements contain some variation of the word for all and conditional statements contains versions of the words 
if then. A universal conditional statement is a statement that is both universal and conditional. For example, For all animals, A. If A is a dog, then A is a mammal. One of the most important facts about universal conditional statements is that they can be rewritten in ways that make them appear to be purely universal or purely conditional. For example, the previous statement can be rewritten in a way that makes its conditional nature explicit but its universal nature implicit. Just like if A is a dog, then A is a mammal. That is conditional statement. Or if an animal is a dog, then the animal is a mammal. Another conditional statement. The statement can also be expressed so as to make its universal nature explicit and its conditional nature implicit. Just like for all dogs, A, A is a mama that is purely universal. Or all dogs are mammals that is also universal. The universal qualifiers in the statement is for all. The crucial point is that the ability to translate among various ways of expressing universal conditional statements is enormously useful for doing mathematics and many parts of computer science. Let's have an exercise. Fill in the blanks to rewrite the following statement. For all real numbers x, if x is non-zero, then x squared is positive. Letter A. If a real number is non-zero, then each square is blank. 10 seconds to answer. Time is up. What is your answer? If a real number is non-zero, then each square is positive. The square of any non-zero digits are positive. Got it? Very good. Letter B. For all non-zero real number x, blank. Another 10 seconds to answer. Time is up. What is your answer? For all non-zero real numbers x, x squared is positive. Got it? Very good. If we are going to identify the two statements, if it is universal or conditional, we can say that the first statement is conditional because of the word if then, and the other one is universal because of the word for all now let's have the third statement if x blank then blank obviously it is a conditional statement you have 10 seconds to answer Time is up. What is your answer? If x is a non-zero real number, then what? x squared is positive. Okay. If you can observe whatever or however we're going to rewrite the statement, it is still the same as the first statement or the main statement. The thought is still there. Now it's your turn. Statement 
d the square of any non-zero real number is blank and the other one all non-zero real numbers have blank comment down your answer before we're going to continue this lesson don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell for more updates now let's have the universal existential statements a universal existential statement is a statement that is universal because of its first part says that a certain property is true for all objects of a given type and it is existential because each second part asserts the existence of something for example every real number has an additive inverse in this statement the property has an additive inverse applies universally to all real numbers has an additive inverse asserts the existence of something for each real number however the nature of the additive inverse depends on the real number different real numbers have different additive inverses knowing that an additive inverse is a real number you can rewrite this statement in several ways some less formal and some more formal for example all real numbers have additive inverses or we can rewrite this one this way for all real numbers r there is an additive inverse for r the other way around for all real numbers r there is a real number s such that s is an additive inverse for introducing names for the variables simplifies references and further discussion for instance after the third version of the statement you might go on to write when R is positive, S is negative. When R is negative, S is positive. When R is 0, S is also 0. One of the most important reasons for using variables in mathematics is that it gives you the ability to refer to quantities unambiguously throughout a lengthy mathematical argument while not restricting you to consider only specific values for them. Now, let's have some exercises for universal existential statements. Fill in the blanks to rewrite the following statement. Every path has a lead. A. All paths are blank. You have 10 seconds to answer. Time is up, and the answer is all paths have lead. Got it? Very good. Next one. For all paths C, there is blank. 10 seconds to answer. Time is up, and your answer is, for all paths P, there is a lead for C. Got it? Very good. Now let's have the next one. For all paths P, there is a lead L such that blank. Leave your answer in the comment section. Again, before we're going to continue this topic, Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Share it also to your friends. Now let's have the next one. Existential Universal Statement What is Existential Universal Statement? It is a statement that is existential because its first part asserts that a certain object exists and is universal because its second part says that the object satisfies a certain property for all things of a certain kind. For example,
there is a positive integer that is less than or equal to every positive integer. This statement is true because the number 1 is a positive integer and it satisfies the property of being less than or equal to every positive integer. We can rewrite the statement in several ways, some less formal and some more formal. Again, our main statement is, some positive integer is less than or equal to every positive integer. We can rewrite this one in different ways. For example, there is a positive integer m that is less than or equal to every positive integer. Or, we can have it, there is a positive integer m such that every positive integer is greater than or equal to m. Or we can have, there is a positive integer m with the property that for all positive integers n, m is less than or equal to n. Now let's try to focus on the last statement. What part of the statement is existential and what part is universal? The existential part there is a positive integer m with that property. While the universal statement is for all positive integers n, m is less than or greater than n. The keyword there is for all. Now let's have an exercise. Fill in the blanks to rewrite the following statement in three different ways. There is a person in my class who is at least as old as every person in my class. Letter A. Some blank is at least as old as blank. What is your answer? You have 10 seconds to answer. Time is up. The answer is some person in my class is at least as old as every person in my class. The existential part, some person in my class. The universal part, every person in my class. Next one, there is a person P in my class such that P is blank. What is your answer? 10 seconds. Time is up and the answer is there is a person P in my class such that P is at least as old as every person in my class. I guess you know already what part is the existential and what part is the universal. Now let's have the last one. There is a person P in my class with the property that for every person Q in my class P is blank. Okay. Leave your answer in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you learned something today. And for the next upload, we are going to talk about the language of sets. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, also hit the notification bell for more updates. Thank you.